What's going on YouTube? I'm AGV K Raw, and this is AGV Webisodes. Uh, today we got another video uh, about Julio Fulio. Unfortunately, he passed. I didn't even want to make a video about this, but it, I, I just find it insane that they got somebody on his account that just made a quarter million dollars off a of promo uh, by posting like uh, uh, somebody marijuana, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then, so they made all that bread, and then they in the comments uh 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 um uh ace and they like oh yeah this is trash da 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 and then he he replying to the and bro's supposed to be not alive and he's sitting there on everything like just asking people oh y'all want promo and telling and it's like hold on man i don't know see he was a troll before he he passed and now he gone and then somebody else is now trolling for him and it's like bro that's the look where it, you get what I'm saying? Look where it got him. That don't, it don't even make sense. But it's like, okay. Reason why I'm making this video is not because he passed. I'm not making it to to add to the negativity or to the disses or whatever that is. You get what I'm saying? I make these videos purely to speak on my opinion when it comes to all these topics. I don't give a damn if it was about Ben and Jerry's making a new sneaker. I'm probably gonna talk about that too. You get what I'm saying? But it's just sad that it's it's like usually black men in the news like going like for stuff like this. And it's like, bruh, if you in all reality, if you got if they don't put a missile in your foot, they done, you know what I'm saying? Put you know what I'm saying, missiles in your mama house, in your grandma house, whatever, whatever, and they did all of this, and then you go like an hour away from where you from and you're like oh yeah i'm in jacksonville y'all come to a pool party bro like you you didn't you didn't took pictures like next to people like whole like you know what i'm saying and then and then laid down on grave sites and 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 then what what do you and you gonna tell people come to your pool party what are you thinking like what how I, I don't understand what your mentality could be if if you know well enough okay i don't i don't mess with them i don't mess with them i don't mess with them but then you don't realize like bro if you want if you're on the internet if you're on twitter or or instagram and you doing stuff on instagram or twitter and then you put stuff on it on a bro it tells you like you you in algorithm you can put up a reel and it'll tell you how many views you get it'll tell you how many interactions you get right it'll tell you how many uh likes or whatever right it'll tell you all that stuff right but it don't tell you who watching it don't tell you who watching not to mention the whoever whoever liking your stuff or whatever whatever picture they got on it that could be a whole fake account and then you sitting there feeding information to a snake or to the enemy and then you what are you thinking what are you thinking because it's like this if you if you if you move in like chestnut checkers you get what i'm saying that mean that if if you know certain people don't like you you can't block them because you got to see what they doing you got to make sure you know you got to control the information that's getting to you get what i'm saying you can't block them because what if you block them and then next thing you know they watching you from something else and then now you oh yeah i gotta oh, i'm in tampa or i'm in tallahassee and i'm at a pool party oh they shut this down we going to the next one and uh, bro who you think who you think how, in all reality if it's chess and not checkers why would you even assume that the only people that's watching this is to benefit you not to mention if you're a person like julio Fulio, you probably got 20,000 you probably got 13,000 people watching your story there's no way you sitting there looking through every one of them not to mention not to mention if you got that many people watching your story there's no way for you to know which one or you you don't know nothing because you're on the internet but that don't so you get what I'm saying like if you if you that type of person like you the you the biggest op, that's what you call yourself why would you be posting the people that you with at your birthday at an Airbnb like ain't nobody ever stayed at the Airbnb before? Not to mention, usually the people that be going to Airbnbs, it's like a select group of people, if you know what I mean. So if you like, if you staying in an Airbnb, 
in Tallahassee, why would you not assume, oh, let me not post that vase? Or let me not, oh, you know what happened to Pop Smoke? Why? Let me not post that pool. Let me not post that lake in the back because they probably going to know. They could, they could probably put two. If somebody live here and they, you know what I'm saying? They probably put two and two together. Oh, yeah, I know where that lake at. Oh, yeah, I done been at that. Come on now. How that makes sense? Not to mention you you post the party that you was gonna go to that same night, but I don't know, man. I I ain't trying to call nobody nothing or whatever, whatever. I'm just saying it don't really make sense in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? But that's my opinion. And then after it's gone, they putting up uh they putting up. They 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 did the post for the for the brand and made two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like I understand, yeah, y'all gotta make yeah yeah they gotta make their money. Yeah, they, what are you thinking? Are you crazy? Bruh, a person like Julio Fulio, the most money he probably, is, I'm not trying to call nobody broke, but that's not a type of person that probably got stocks and bonds. That's probably not a type of person that 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 made investments like and grew interest on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Julio Fulio is the type of person that probably like blew like 30 bands on a watch and it was probably like, oh yeah, if I sell it, I can get 20K back. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that was just about as far as it went when it came to that. But it's like, it's like, Rappers are not like the you make money off of shows, but a person like Julio Fulio is not even like you, you, he's not even big enough to be making money, money off of shows. Like, you only like it's different tiers to, to like rap, and it's like you can keep going up, yeah, but it's like it's different tiers, you know what I'm saying. It's different tiers. It's just different tiers. Like you look at a boogie, and you'd be like, "Oh, like a couple months ago, you'd be like, oh, and when you seen him outside of that club in Paris, you're like, oh, you you would have played him. You're like, oh yeah, a boogie ain't doing nothing. He getting bullied by bouncers. Now, two days ago, a boogie just sold that Madison Square Garden with 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 uh with Lola Brooke, Fifty Cent, Skiller Baby, and and everybody. And they like, oh yeah, bro, you a goat. So now it's like it's it's a, a lot of things are about perception. And and you look at like you look at uh a book and you look at TJ and I look at them both like good artists, but it's like the perception of the rap game is like they don't like each other. So you gotta you really gotta understand certain things when it comes to certain things. Cause it's like they I'm pretty sure they'll do a good song together. But the mentalities that that keep them apart is what got them where they are. So it's like you can't tell nobody what to do. So I can't tell Julio Fulio, oh, don't do this or don't do that. It's just like, bruh, once you done beat a certain amount of levels in, in Super Mario's, you supposed to know, oh, if I jump like too short, I'm going to fall down that hole. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, why would you keep playing yourself? It's like not even, people not even, it don't even got to do with nobody that's playing with you. You playing with yourself because you know better. And then you doing stuff that you know, okay, yeah, maybe, you get what I'm saying? Bro, you don't got, bro. if a nigga done blew my... Bruh, if somebody blew a, foot, a hole in my foot, you would not see me. What you talking about? Bruh, I'll be about, I'll be about, I'll be about, I'll be about out the way as J. Cole. You wouldn't see me unless I'm riding a bike in Paris. Like, on oh God. Like, bruh, if somebody, if I ever, if somebody ever tried something like that with me and I got away and I'm straight, it's like, bruh, you crazy? Like, why would I be playing? On, like, I'm not, because at a certain type of time, you play like like people like bruh was playing with like witchcraft and voodoo and stuff like that and it's like you thought you think like it sometimes whatever you're doing you think oh oh yeah like and it blows you up you get you you get a big head on whatever you got going on but you gotta really bruh i don't even care what you're talking about bro i believe in god that don't mean i'm not gonna have you get what i'm saying something on me you get what i'm saying yeah i pray to god but you get what I'm saying? I also load it in the same way. Like, it's like, why would I play with y'all when I know how stupid people can be? Like, bro, you at a, at a, at a, at a, after a while, you on a treadmill. You can't run on a treadmill for the rest of your life, bro. You going to trip. So it's like, bro, it's like you make goals, you hit them, and you make bigger goals, and you hit them. But it's like, you don't. Like, bro, if you're a person like Julio Fulio, bro, you supposed to be, 
getting ready for fashion week in in Paris or or doing something with your YouTube channel or figuring out how to monetize like to a bigger thing, not still playing around the same stuff that got you caught up last year and the year before that. Like because it's like, bro, you you got too much going on. People is looking at you now. And it's like for nobody to tell you that that tells you how fake the people around you is because like a lot of people it's not uh, it's a lot of people that want to be a rapper a lot of people want to be a, a entrepreneur a lot of people want to be a, a like a, a content creator like this a lot of people want to do that but god give like it, you don't everybody don't get a chance to really show their talents Everybody don't get to the point. Some people quit before they even get to the point where they get to show the part where that child might actually like. So it's like, when once you at a point where you broke through that 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 atmosphere, that stratosphere, whatever you call that, the ozone layer of of the BS, and then people are actually listening to you now, and you realize you got a voice now. You supposed to have people around you that tell you, look, you can't move like that because da da da. You can't do that because da da da. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. Like Kodak do some dumb stuff, but I'm pretty sure like it's somebody around him that be like, oh yeah, I don't know. you get what I'm saying? Like just not trying to tell him what to do or like son him or put a thumb over him. It's just like like hey bro, you know you're like you know you know you're too big for that, right? Like you know you you know your uh your image is too important for all that, right? Like I don't know, I don't know. But it say uh Temple, Florida, Jacksonville rapper Julio Fulio was uh was out in in unalive in Temple early Sunday. His attorney Louis Fusco uh confirmed it. Um Charles Jones, who went by the rap name of Julio Fulio, was celebrating his twenty sixth birthday, which is Friday, staying at an Airbnb, according to Fusco. Uh Fusco said that too many people were in the Airbnb, they were celebrating and that they had to leave. In the Instagram story, the rapper said police shut the party down and uh, kicked them out of the Airbnb numerous posts on the social media advertised the location of the event. Um, the victim in this morning's uh, uh, Uden is believed to be Charles Jones. Tampa Police Public Information Officer Joni Lewis wrote in a press release, positive identification and pending confirmation from the medical examiner's office, no arrest has been made. Not to mention, uh, it, it do say no arrests have been made, but this was the original post of the um, Jacksonville uh, PD. But a day after this, or Tampa, yeah, the, the, whatever. But the day after that, they got back on the news and they said uh, they 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 spoke on the uh, retaliations between Jacksonville and and Tampa or Tallahassee, whatever. I don't know what they talk, what that is, or uh, where this specifically, but. They spoke on that and they said that it's going to guarantee be uh, an arrest uh, when it comes to this situation. Uh, I'm not sure why they say that. And I see, uh, what, what's his name? I think his name is Ace, but I don't know. The other rap were, bro, uh, that the ATK or the one that got sprayed originally. And so the, the one got one of them, what? One of them died and then three of them survived in in aces and in julio's three of them got shot and oh wait yeah whatever you get what i'm saying but uh it was like the opposite on both of them but the thing about it is that um <clears throat> they spoke on retaliation and they said it's going to be guaranteed to be an arrest but my personal opinion my personal opinion is that i don't think bro got nothing to do with it because it, with all the rap songs that he dropping that do it, that da da da, that all that with with all that talking, like you gotta be a complete like bozo to be sitting there doing all that and you actually did that. Or you actually had something to do with that. That don't even make no type of sense. That don't make no type of sense. And if he did do that and he's doing that like that, then hey bro, you you about dumb as a box of rocks, bro. Like I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like cause I don't know like if people's not paying attention to how this stuff is going right now. But rappers get more time than um than regular civilians. And if you are uh and you are uh and if you like do something to a rapper, you get more time than if you do something to a regular person. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's just a spotlight on rappers, on artists. Like that's just real. So if he really had something to do with all of that, then that that would be about the the slowest move you could ever make in life. But um this is just a video I wanted to talk to y'all about, uh, bruh. 
Uh, rest in peace, Julio Fulio. Um, I, I want to say he was a, he was a good he was a good person to somebody. Like you know what I'm saying. But it's like when you when you a uh, a young person, uh, especially my color, and then it's like it's not a lot of ways to make it out of where where we from. So it's like I understand that you use your voice to the best of your ability. It's just like once you get to a certain point, you got to know how to shift. You get what I'm saying? You just got to know how to shift because it's like all that bad energy, it catch up to you. And it's like you can't you can't keep swimming in the same, you know what I'm saying, in the same pool. Sometimes you got to take, take your, like your mom would say, take your black out of the Calabasas or like, you know what I'm saying, go go touch some sand in, 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 um, in Aruba or something like that. Like what is you doing in the hood for your birthday, bro? Like. If I if I ain't got nothing to do on my birthday, I'm in the studio. I'm not in the hood at no pool party. I don't even want to see no, what I'm in a pool party for. What do you sell? What is what is it? I, I don't got no reason to be at no pool party, bro. Like I don't got no reason to be at no barbecue. Like especially if you Julio Fully, you're supposed to be in a studio, bro. Like what is you doing? You're not supposed to. You what is you doing, bro? What is you doing? Especially they they done got at you a couple times. It don't make no sense. But like I said, I'm AGB King, bro. I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, I just dropped a new song called IDGAF. It's all everywhere. It's on every platform. Uh, you can go look it up. Um, I appreciate y'all for watching. I love y'all. I love y'all. Uh, God love y'all more. Yeah, thank y'all. Yeah.